and from the throw in there as West Scott drives it out, but Barassi of Melbourne comes in to get the ball, he turns onto his left foot. He's really number nine, tries a drop kick, one of the few we've seen today, and that's Barassi chipping right in in front of Rose. He just screws it off the side of his foot, the Barassi in the forward pocket. So easy for Melbourne at this stage. Well, one of the first things I'd like to say is that I'm a very lucky person. Uh, the fact that I was born with some ability, because what you're born with, it's one of my mantras, you know. What you're born with has got nothing to do with you, it's just a matter of uh, chance, luck, whatever you want to call it. It's certainly nothing to do with you. We're in the rooms, about to go out to play, and here am I, an 18 year old, Barras coming up, putting his hand on my shoulder and said, mate, I won't let you down. I just, I just you know, here's the, the great R, RDB coming up to a first 18 year old who played, what, 17 games and said, he wouldn't be letting me down. I'm, yeah, I just, I just, even now, just mentioning it, sends shivers through my spine. He, he was one of those blokes who could turn a game. He was a guy who was at his best when things were tough. And, and it was that adversity and, you know, and he, he used to throw this saying out all the time. And I know a lot of people have got it, you know, if it is to be, it's up to me. I had this vision of him. You never want to play on Debrassi, he's so intimidating. What about the sprays he gives you? What about all those other different things? Don't look at me like that. How many kicks have you got? That's the answer to everything. Possessions. You give me possessions and I'll shut up. I come to understand it was about 5% of the man. It's what the media portrayed. And he may give you a blast, but then his ability to actually stop himself, think and then clearly enunciate what now was required for you to do was actually mind boggling. Seen him uh, after we won the 21 flag, seen the smile that it brought to his face. He's a man who could walk into a room like we would be talking, like 40 players just all having a laugh and then Ron walks in, you can hear a pin drop. Yeah, there's no doubt the spirit of Barass will always be at the Melbourne Footy Club and um, you know, my time with him was always about the red and the blue. There's not many places you could go in Australia, it wouldn't matter where it was, and you could say Ron Barassi and they would know him. And it didn't matter what code, what part of the country it was, because no greater person has been involved in the game than Ron Barassi.